All right. Let's get one thing straight, Mr. Brown. I wouldn't just go around murdering my competition like I was on a hunt for Black Friday bargains and clearance men steals. I mean, who would enter such a competition and then murder someone just to ensure their own victory? As the sash was laid upon me, I swore to uphold the standards of misfortune. I took a vow of kindness, charity, and beauty, of course. And if you ask any of the other girls here, they will tell you of my kindness, my charity, and my beauty. But the girls are in shock. Yes, yes, I understand that all the girls are either in shock or admitted to the hospital because of the... <laughs> but you could imagine that's how they would all respond, Mr. Brown. When I became Miss Fortune, I promised myself that I would look at each contestant through the eyes of a girl whose desperate shyness hides her opulent confidence to take control and get what she wants. I mean, Mr. Brown, you're not suggesting that someone as innocent and beautiful as me could grab a green-handled knife and just... Ah, ah, I, I could never stoop to that level of foul play, Mr. Brown. <sighs> Misfortune is not a title that I take very lightly. Do you value life? Oh, Mr. Brown, if I have to answer such a question, well, I will take my sash and my tiara and I will leave. <sighs> you cannot leave. Right, yes, of course. Sit. Miss Fortune would never strike at a time when another contestant was supposedly answering a question about what she would do if she won the supposed title. And the entire audience was in tears at her heartwarming answer. And where were you the time for those? Where was I? Well, I was in the light booth, cheering on my fellow sister contestants. You see, Mr. Brown, if I was in the light booth when this all occurred, then there's no way that I could have run down the stairs until I reached the stage and found the knife stashed in the lockbox roughly 25 feet away from Alice. And then there's no way that I could have then used that knife just as she completed her double turn off stage, leading her directly into the vegetable pattern cutting knife. I was in heels after all. <laughs> Can I have my heels back now, Mr. Brown? Yes, yes, I understand they are a little bit stained, but is that not just the kind of thing that happens as you continue to use them? You are a murderer! How dare you? How dare you make such an accusation about an impressionable high school junior like myself, Mr. Brown? I have worked to the bone for this school and this title, and I will continue to work until I clear my name, until the blood of all past and present misfortunes runs in the street and stains my heels. You believe me, don't you? You believe me, don't you? Misfortune 